Buenos nachos and welcome back to the channel. In one of our previous videos we had removed a DVD drive from the Xbox and it was brought to my attention by one of the commenters that we could be potentially causing some airflow issues and thus causing overheating issues. Maybe. Without further ado, let's open up the Xbox and perform some comparisons. Okay, I need to get my driver of the screw. All right, and now that we have the Xbox opened up here, first test we're gonna perform is with no DVD drive assembly, and we're gonna place some thermal couples in here. So let's go ahead and show you how that's gonna look. We're gonna use this right here to measure temperature. We're gonna have one thermal couple that'll sit on the outside of the console and two on the inside, one for each heat sink, one for GPU, one for CPU. Now I usually like to measure in C, but we're gonna measure in F, so Fahrenheit, just to make things a little bit easier for everyone. As for how we're gonna run this stuff through, I guess uh, we'll try our best to run it through the sides here. Thermal couple number one is on the GPU and number two is on CPU. We're of course gonna be sealing up the console and running it with the exact same game for both tests. The only difference between the tests will of course be the addition of the DVD drive. So we have our drive right here, no drive inside of the console. Let's go ahead and close it up. Go ahead and boot up the console. Looks like our GPU is already at 81, 82 and our CPU is already at 80. One thing to bear in mind is this is a one gigahertz upgraded console. All right, and our game of choice, of course, is gonna be Halo. Right now we are at 93 Fahrenheit for GPU, almost 94 on idle, and CPU is at 91. So we're gonna run this for five minutes and see what happens. We've just set our timer for five minutes. Ideally, when we run this test again, we want the console to start off at room temperature. All right, time has elapsed. We're at 101.5 for the GPU, 106.2 for the CPU, and room temperature is 76.8. We're gonna let the console cool down for a bit, and then we're gonna install the DVD drive. Let's turn on the thermocouple and see what our temperatures are currently. So we're pretty much hovering at 77 and 76 in the console, nearly 77. Let's go ahead and show you that the thermocouples are in the same spots. So right here and right over here on the CPU. Once again, thermal couple number one is the GPU and thermal couple number two is CPU. As I put the DVD drive back in here and we're going to put the shell back on. Now we'll of course seal up the console. All right, so we've powered on the console and now we're gonna run it in the same conditions as prior, just now with the addition of the DVD drive. All right, and we're gonna run it with Halo 2, and we're of course gonna be starting up our timer once again for five minutes. Looks like our five minutes has elapsed. We are at 108 degrees and 104 and a half degrees. And there you have it. Looks like the console does run a little bit warmer when you have the DVD drive plugged in. I was really thinking that the DVD drive would actually make a difference in shifting the air over the heat sinks and actually make the console run cooler. But now as you've seen, it actually runs a little bit warmer. As for the temperature differences, we'll have those posted somewhere around here so you can take a look at them. If you found this video helpful or useful, please remember to leave us a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Until next time.